First tonight, the next step toward reopening. Governor Wolf expects the Philadelphia region to move into the yellow phase of his plan by early June. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. Today, the governor announced several northern counties will turn green next Friday. Now, that means pandemic restrictions are almost entirely lifted. And then on June 5th, the governor expects Philadelphia and surrounding counties to turn yellow, despite the fact that the rate of infections remain above the state's target. Alexandria Hall has a closer look. My stay at home order did exactly what it was intended to do. It saved lives. It's been just over 50 days since Governor Wolf issued his statewide stay at home order. And now in two weeks time, it is slated to be lifted entirely. Overall, we've seen most areas continue to maintain or reduce their COVID-19 new case count. 12.01 a.m. June 5th, Wolf anticipates Philadelphia and its suburbs to make the shift from the red phase to yellow. I don't think you'll see a fast sprint on uh, June 5th, 6th or 7th. Rob Wanderling is the president and CEO of the Chamber of Commerce for Greater Philadelphia. Their business members employ about 600,000 people in the region. We know that this business community with the spirit of free enterprise and devotion uh, to community and to each other, uh, we're going to reopen safely. A full reopening is, of course, the goal, but it's important to remember what the yellow phase will mean and that the stay at home order will be lifted. Telework must continue where feasible. Gatherings under 25 people are permitted. In person retail is also allowed. Curbside and delivery is preferable, though. Child care can reopen with guidance. Bars and restaurants, though, must remain limited to takeout and delivery. Indoor recreation and entertainment venues will remain closed. Now, next week, the city of Philadelphia will release more on how the city will begin its transition into the yellow phase. In a statement, Mayor Jim Kenney said, quote, in the meantime, remember, our stay at home order is still in full effect. Please stay home to stop the spread. The next two weeks are critical. If we see a spike in cases, it will jeopardize any hope we have of beginning to reopen. Alexandria Hoff, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.